The celebrity fashion lines of the 2000s really shaped my upbringing. You mean I can get my favorite TV star or singer's clothing that they designed and they wear? Sign me the heck up. Hilary Duff was booked and busy in the early 2000s. As a TV star, a pop star, and now a movie star, she should just add some more things, don't you think? Well, she did. She had a fashion line and it was um my personal favorite. In April of 2003, Bravado International, who owned Hillary's licensing rights, signed with Townley Cosmetics to create a beauty line called Stuff by Hillary Duff. Hey, I just wanted to let you know that my stuff is now at Sellers. The line began with eye, lip, nail, and body products, all for $4 or less. 2024 could never. But as soon as the beauty line launched in fall of 2003, it was already said to be expanding into a much bigger line, including fashion items, accessories, shoes, eyewear, hair care items, school supplies, and even bedding. I want to note the other designers and directors of these lines if I can find them, because obviously these weren't made just by the celebrity themselves. So the Stuff by Duff director was Joffrey Gertz. A little shout out, I guess. Hillary actually had a lot of say in product development, even though she was only 15 when it launched. She designed the metallic pink logo and insisted that all the packaging be completely recyclable. The line was originally sold at most department stores and chain stores like Limited 2 and Club Libby Lou, but in December of 2003, they signed an exclusive contract with Target. Well, Target got them in the US, Zellers got them in Canada, and Kmart got them in Australia. I think that exclusivity only lasted a few years though, because I do see it as being sold other places after 2006. That comment was specifically for the people who are gonna say, well, I bought it at this store. There you go. Stuff by Duff ran a sweepstakes where you could meet Hillary because of course they did. And hey, here's a chance to win a trip to meet Hillary. Every celebrity line in the early 2000s ran a win a chance to meet so-and-so sweepstakes. It was always the promo, but like who won? Did anyone actually ever win these and get to meet the person? If you did, Drop a comment because I have questions. Hillary even released a line of fashion patterns with McCall Pattern Company in 2007, which is kind of shocking because she was making her own clothing items and then being like, well, here, you can make it instead if you want, which I kind of love. And you could even get the Stuff by Hillary Duff fashion designs on stardoll.com back in 2007. Do you remember Stardoll? Yeah, it still exists. All good things must come to an end. The line was phased out in February of 2009 with exception of the eyewear. Hillary was now 21. She said she had lost interest and she wanted to make things for girls her own age. Hillary then went on to partner with DKNY Jeans for a collab called Femme in August of 2009. Forbes actually interviewed Hillary Duff back in February of 2021 and they asked her about her old Stuff by Duff fashion line to which she said, I got to be involved with a lot of the design, but my fashion taste was definitely nowhere near, you know, I don't even know if we can call it fashion. It was like kids clothes. She did say it was fun and she enjoyed it at the time, but Hillary, listen, I loved that line. I still love that line. If you brought it back exactly as it was in adult sizes, I would buy it. Talk about booked and busy. I think the Olsen twins have everyone else beat out for that title. They made everything under the sun, movies, books, music, dolls, video games, hair tools, bedding, even CD players and phones were branded with their names. So of course they had their own fashion line. In January of 2001, Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen launched their very own clothing line exclusive to Walmart with designer Judy Schwartz. The line was not just clothing. They had jewelry, purses, backpacks, sunglasses, stationery, home decor, and even a whole makeup and beauty line, which I loved the nostalgia. Ugh. It was said that they had 500 square feet of space and every Walmart store across the country, and they were only 14 when this line launched. They even made this behind the scenes mini movie that was called Fashion Forward, and it was the backstage pass to the premiere of the Mary-Kate and Ashley fashion line at Walmart, and I really wanna find this at a thrift store. They expanded their line to include plus sizes for girls in 2003, and they had their runway debut in Paris in 2004. Their slogan was real fashion for real girls, and they actually wore their pieces out, which made the line even more popular. The line got a lot of praise because the Olsen twins made sure that the workers in Bangladesh who were making the garments got three months paid maternity leave, which was kind of a big deal at the time and for a fast fashion line to do. It is estimated that Mary-Kate and Ashley made over $700 million from this Walmart line alone, which is over $1 billion in today's money. Hot damn. I just cannot imagine being that young and that successful 
with that much money and power. Oh my God. The line seems to have been discontinued in 2006 when Mary Kate and Ashley started their high end fashion line called The Row, which they still run today. But boy, is The Row different from their previous fashion line. Ah! We have to include the scene queen herself, Avril Lavigne. Avril launched her clothing line, Abby Dawn, in July of 2008, exclusive to Kohl's. If you've wondered where the name Abby Dawn came from, like I did, it was apparently a nickname her dad gave her after he saw it on a street sign, and then all of her friends called her Abby. There were all different clothing pieces, such as tops, hoodies, and jeans, as well as accessories like jewelry, shoes, and bags. Avril described the line as rock glam, fun, colorful, and edgy. She said she wanted it to be affordable and available to a lot of girls meaning that it was in a store that's in a lot of places and it was easily accessible. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem that this line had plus sizes. In fall of 2009, the line had a pop-up at a store in Japan called La Forêt Harajuku, and they appeared in New York Fashion Week. And just like Stuff by Duff, you could find Abby Dawn fashion items on Stardoll.com. By 2011, the Kohl's contract had expired, so Avril decided to sell the line independently. They were part of New York Fashion Week again in 2013, but guess who was the face of the brand and modeled the line that year? Kylie Jenner. I, I just don't see her as a scene queen, but all right. Well, what happened to it? Where is it now? They do still have an Instagram, although they haven't posted since 2021, and they do still have a website. Although it seems now it's just Abby Dawn branded merch and not an entire fashion line, and nothing is currently purchasable. Avril also did a shoe and handbag collab in March of 2012 with Just Fab, so maybe you'll recognize some of those items as well. Mandy Moore even got into this game, our own Lana Thomas. I love her cover of Stupid Cupid. <laughs> Stupid, you'll be real mean guy. Emblem was launched in February of 2006 by Mandy Moore and Christy Kaler of The Loft. The line focused on simplicity, comfort, and knit tees, which Mandy made sure were long enough for taller girls because she's 5'10 herself and she said she had a lot of trouble finding t-shirts that fit her, so she fixed the problem herself. Her basic pieces came in several colors, some had classic rock song lyrics on them, but one t-shirt was going to cost you upwards of $50. The line was sold at Nordstrom, Bloomingdale's, Macy's, and other high-end fashion shops. And then after about a year, she did expand the line to include some fashion tops and dresses and just expanded outside of basic pieces overall. In 2009, the line was discontinued so Mandy could focus on her music career. We have to talk about Miley's line. In August of 2009, Miley Cyrus partnered with fashion designer Max Azria to create a junior's fashion line exclusive to Walmart. Walmart really knows when to like scoop up those exclusivities with big celebrities. And if you didn't know, Max Azria is the designer behind BCBG, so he was a pretty big wig in the fashion industry. The line included tops, pants, graphic tees, shoes, and more, all for under $20 a piece. They had some very trendy for the late 2000s pieces. I mean, the shoes hanging around the neck printed graphic tee and the mic hanging around the neck printed graphic tee, the fringe boots everyone either had or wanted, the British flag on everything because that was a thing, and those business casual ruffle tops so you could hit up recess at two and a board meeting at three. The line was only around for about a year or so, and at the time it just kind of seemed to be phasing out, but a tweet from Miley in 2009 told us what really happened. Miley tweeted, I lost a massive Walmart deal at 17 for ripping a bong. They allegedly told her to pick weed or Walmart, and she said, I choose weed. I don't think I expected anything less from 17-year-old Miley. <laughs> I almost forgot about Selena Gomez's line. Selena announced in October of 2009, it's still the 2000s, okay, that she would be launching her own fashion line. And Dream Out Loud launched in fall of 2010, exclusive to Kmart, partnered with designers Sandra Campos and Tony Malilo. Fine, that's no longer the 2000s, but like it fits with the video. The line was said to be very feminine, bohemian, and pretty with floral tops, boho dresses, skirts, jeans, jackets, and accessories that were all made from eco-friendly or recycled materials. At least the brand said they were. They put out new collections every season until the end of 2014 with their winter 2014 collection being their last. Do you remember that show, True Jackson VP? 
Did you know they had an actual fashion line? True Jackson VP aired for three seasons on Nickelodeon from 2008 to 2011. It was about a teen who got her dream job as vice president of youth apparel at a big fashion company. Now, Kiki Palmer did play the lead in the show, although I don't think she had anything to do with the fashion line, but I thought some of y'all would remember these pieces. The line was based on True's style in the show with lots of layering, accessorizing, and customization. It was called Mad Style by True Jackson, Mad Style being the fictional fashion company that True works for in the show. But this very real fashion line for girls launched in July of 2009 at Walmart, created by Jane Siskin and Nickelodeon. And everything from this line was reportedly $14 or less. The TV show ran until 2011, so I'm assuming this fashion line was probably made until 2011. Maybe it ended sooner. Sometimes it can be kind of fuzzy to find the details on these things. You may be wondering why I haven't mentioned candies by insert celebrity's name here. Well, a lot of people think that Candies is owned by one celebrity or another. I thought it was Fergie's line because she was on all the posters at Kohl's when I was growing up. But Candies is just a regular fashion line. It's not owned or run by any one celebrity. They've just had many different celebrities as the spokesperson or face of the brand over the years. Maybe you remember Fergie like I do, or maybe you remember Jenny McCarthy, who was their first spokesperson. Maybe you remember Brandy. Lil' Kim, Kelly Clarkson, Britney Spears, or Vanessa Hudgens as their spokesperson of that year. Or maybe you'll remember Hilary Duff, who was the spokesperson for Candies in 2005, which may or may not have caused some very real problems with Hillary's management and the Stuff by Duff licensing group, because there was a lawsuit of some sort. And this is just my speculation, but like, that seems like maybe that was the conflict of interest they were unhappy about. I don't know, just my thoughts. But no, Candies was its own brand. I'm sure there's a bunch of brands I've forgotten this, and there are a lot of 2000s celebrity fashion lines that are targeted at adults and not teens that I could do a separate video on. But let's reminisce in the comments together. What was your favorite 2000s celebrity line or product? If you love all things nostalgic like me, please subscribe and check out my TikTok and Instagram.